In this demo video, we're going to create a job where we take a standard form page along with a couple checkbox items and we put in, in the middle of the checkbox groups, a text field that is dynamic. So the idea is that if I select option one, I'll go ahead and put that in here, option one, I want to show or hide this text box if option one is selected. And just so this looks a little bit more realistic, we'll put in a couple options down below. So the first thing about this job then is that we actually want to group all these elements so they look like they belong together. And there's a couple tricks that we need to perform in order to do that. Now RackForms does do some things for us, but we want to make sure that we uh, set these items up correctly so this logic works. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our checkbox items right here have the same name slash value. So right now, and by default, whenever RackForms creates a new group of checkboxes or essentially any form item, it's always going to give it a unique name. So our first item right now is called checkbox1, but our second item has automatically been renamed to checkbox2. The problem with that is, is we want these checkbox items to be related. And the easiest way to do that is to make sure they have the same name value. Now it is important to note that this is only valid for checkbox items and for certain technical work hidden fields. And the reason why is because checkboxes can be an array of values, whereas every other form field type is just a single value. So for example, if I had a text box right here, it doesn't make sense to have a text box with the same name value as another text box, because then only the last one that we have would actually get submitted to the form. But again, checkboxes are different because they're technically an array of values. So in the back end of rack forms, then we say, well, checkboxes can have the same name because what if I want to create multiple items and have those all feed into that single array? I know it's a little bit technical, but you'll just have to kind of trust me and say that it works. Okay, so now that I have the same name for checkboxes, this means that when I submit this form, all these items are related in terms of the form submission. So whether it's like the email that we're sending your database, they're all gonna say, well, here's checkbox one group. However, we still have this visual aspect to deal with now. So if I run the form right now without changing anything, you can see here that our text box is just shown by default. So I probably wanna hide that guy, so I'll select it. I go down to my conditional code and say field initially visible and uncheck that. And now our field is indeed invisible. But this is a little bit confusing to my users right now, right? Like I want all of these checkboxes to appear as one group. So the easiest way to do that is to simply delete the label for this checkbox group. However, this leaves one last problem. So you can see here that we have a gap in between these two items. Now I know this is code and it's not the most exciting thing to look at, but I just want to show you real quickly where that gap is actually coming from. So in rack forms, whenever I have a field like this, by default, every field gets a margin bottom applied to it. So we can actually see this then if I select the field, I could see here's margin bottom of nine pixels. So I essentially need to write a little bit of JavaScript that's actually gonna get rid of that margin bottom at runtime. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll go underneath my last option group right here, and I'll scroll down under layout and add a code block. And to this code block, I'm just gonna copy and paste in this code right here. Now, I did write this code ahead of time, but there is, if you're doing the same thing, nothing that you need to think of on your own. The only thing that you would need to change is what the ID of the checkbox group is and append an FB underscore FLD dash to it. So I know it's kind of a mouthful, but all we actually need to care about is this value right here. Right, so you can pause this video and basically write this down in a scratch pad somewhere. All you need to do is look for what the ID of the element that has that gap applied to it is. And you can see here that the gap was on option one, so we wanted to get rid of that. The key though to this, and this is our last little tricky bit here, is that we really do wanna make sure that the IDs of all of our checkbox items are unique. So I know it's a little bit tricky, but basically I said once now that name value should be the same. And indeed it is, right? Both of these name values are checkbox one. But what we actually care about is we wanna make sure that this ID, excuse me, the ID value is in fact unique. And this is kind of just one of those technical things of JavaScript, but basically what it means is that um, each one of these checkbox groups has a unique ID as far as JavaScript is concerned. And that's basically what this is doing, is it's saying, I wanna find the one item with a ID of checkbox, FB field dash checkbox one, I wanna make that one a margin of zero. Now, as you saw in the beginning, 
it actually worked straight away, but that's only because this was the first item. If I had other checkbox groups in there with the same ID, it would have been a problem. But at this point then, we're essentially done and we just need to implement our hide in show logic. So go ahead and select this item, skip down to conditional logic, and for event trigger, I'll say on click, and I'll say if this field is checked, then go ahead and show the text three field. And now if I run this form here, if I check this, you can see that my option appears and the, as far as the user is concerned, the items are all related together, even though in rack forms, they're actually two separate items. So of course, as I always say, if you have questions about this or any other job, please let us know at info at rackforms.com.